Hi everybody, I have another video for you. This one is, uh, I'm just calling it together, because um, that's the sticker that I end up putting on it basically as a title. Um, I, the photos that I'm working on right now are pretty much um, the beginning of 2013, and I like to scrapbook chronologically, so these ones I believe are January. And even though I live in San Diego, we do have um, only about a 30 minute drive to the mountains, and it does snow there, so we um, every year kind of get to take a little bit of a trip and go up there and play around in the snow a little bit and then just drive home where there is no snow. <laughs> it's kind of a nice setup. <laughs> um, anyway, with this um, layout, I'm actually not using a kit. I decided to just kind of pull some items from my stash, and they are some older items, so I am absolutely not sure about um, manufacturers or anything like that. I liked the paper, the pattern paper that I chose for this just because it was Christmassy, I guess in a way, but different, had snowflakes on it. When am I ever going to use any other snowflake paper? So um, I had to seize the moment. <laughs> um, this layout is about a trip that um, my boyfriend, his son, and my son and I all took to the snow and it was a fun day. We had snowball flights and built a snowman and that type of thing. It was a good time. So anyway, I am trying to decide, I know I'm matting the photos onto a piece of glittery white card stock, and then I'm trying to decide um, on how or, or what other paper to back these photos on, or if I want to back the photos, and I am playing around with, um, um, let's, what, do you, what do you call them, journaling tabs or journaling spots or um, I also know that I want to use this Together sticker. I just am not exactly sure where I'm going to put it out on the layout. I think that the Together sticker is... I want to say that that's Heidi Swap, but maybe it's not. I don't know. I should have kept all my, product, uh, all my um, products together on this layout, but I didn't. And I'm narrating it somewhat after the fact, so... Um, I've done quite a few other layouts now that I have videoed, so... <laughs> this one's probably not going to be the best for knowing what all the product is on it. Now I'm trying to decide um, whether or not I like the title on there. I kind of felt like it was getting lost in the background, so I'm pulling out papers to try to see about, um, you know, finding basically a something to back the title so that it doesn't get lost on the pattern paper and then where do I want to put that. So I decided to go with the um, the white uh, paper that I've also used to back the photos with and I cut that journaling spot in two to um, spread it out basically so that it comes out the top and the bottom of my um, title. Um, you know what's kind of funny is that that paper was kind of glossy that had the, the glittery white paper so it didn't take ink very well at all. Um, at least not the Distress Ink, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's okay. It ended up kind of looking like a gray color instead of um, instead of black or, or brown at all. Um, but it works. It's done. <laughs> so, um, and that is where I end up leaving my title and the journaling spot. This is one of those layouts where I don't absolutely love it. I actually really like the photos. But, um, you know, when you start putting stuff down and then, I don't know, maybe something goes awry somewhere and it just doesn't scream, wow, fabulous, but it's done and it's in the book, so I'm good with that. They can't all be fabulous photo or fabulous layouts. Now I am going to glue down the journaling spot and this white glittery paper to adhere the title to. Then I am going to take the title and stick it down to the glittery paper. Um, I was kind of surprised that it stuck because the texture of the paper, um, but it did, so that was good. Um, I ran, kind of ran into an issue with putting them down because the G hung so low and then the H was going to be so high, so I have to play with it a little bit um, to make sure that it lines up correctly. But um, Anyway, I get it to all kind of work out on there, so um, I think that I don't show it on the video, but um, at some point, 
I outlined all of these letters in um, with a black sharpie to a thin black sharpie. So I don't believe it's on the video though. Okay, so now I have all those letters stuck down. I am going to move on to mounting the photo with foam adhesive um, because I want that to st stand up off the page a little bit. Once I'm done with that, then I am going to start pulling out some embellishments. So for the embellishments on this layout, um, I am going to use a little bit of a mixture and it's all stuff from my stash. So I'm pretty sure some of them are from Evalicious. Um, I know that there's a little bit of LA Studio on here. Um, and then I know that I use a lot of journal spot sticker type things and those are probably from a mixture of different companies. Um, I should, like I said, I should have kept all my product together, but I did this layout um, quite a while ago, so it's already in my album and everything, and I know, because I can look at the photo, or look at the layout, what I ultimately put on it, but I don't remember all the things that I played with, and I know that I did move them around on here quite a bit, trying to figure out um, where I wanted to put them, so I know I pulled a lot of these um, uh, label stickers out and moved them around quite a bit. But um, anyway, a lot of the a, a lot of them don't end up. A lot of the ones I pulled don't end up on the layout. So since I can't completely decide on where I'm going to put all of the embellishments yet, I decided to go ahead and get out some of my favorite washi tape, which is this small um, film strip looking stuff. Um, I use this all the time. I just don't know why, but it always seems to help bring a layout together for me. So it's like, you know, my go-to um, washi tape for sure. And I think that it's just from Recollections and it's at Michael's. I think it comes in a kit of like with two, like one might have photos and the other one might is this little film strip thing. So I'm going to put it um, on both sides of the title and then I'm also going to put a strip of it underneath the photo mat and then I'm also going to put a little bit of it up in the right corner of the layout. So once I get the washi tape down then I am going to move on to playing with some of the embellishments again. Um, I think a lot of what I ended up doing on this layout um, I probably did off camera while I was trying to figure out um, where I wanted to place everything um, because I don't see where I put um, a lot of the finished um, items on in the video. So um, anyway, I, I'll just kind of walk through some of what I ended up doing and I do use the um, Avalicious, or that might actually be LA Studio with the, um, it's the journaling, not journaling, but label um, tab die cut that's in the right corner with the two hearts on it and that will stay there. I'm going to use the circle heart or the circle cutout that says um, photo love up there as well and a journaling um, or label sticker whatever you want to call that. Um, those ones I believe are from Jenny Boland that are that are red. I'm going to use the this moment um, arrow with another Jenny Boland sticker. I'm also going to use the bling or flash um, to the left that has polka dots and a heart. Um, I am going to use the um, washi tape like I had said where I put it um, underneath the bottom of the photo and I realized um, while looking at the video that those letters um, that spelled out together it actually wasn't like a Heidi Swap um, um, all, word that was like all together or anything like that. It was separate. They were all letter stickers and I have looked through my stash trying to figure out who those were by and I do not see them um, anymore. So I don't know if I stuck them in with my Christmas stuff or something but um, I did find some other stickers that were similar that were by Making Memories so that makes me think that they would be fairly old if they were by them. So um, anyway um, that I think is pretty much the gist of the layout. No, you know what, I do take out some of the letter stickers. It also had stars um, in the glitter on them and so I place those around on the layout in a few of the um, circles that are on the layout um, and I outline them in black. 
Uh, I also got out some enamel dots and I placed those in a few places around the layout as well. Um, oh, the one last thing that I put on it is a little bit of bling, which is a arrow that I believe came from, I think, Basic Gray. Um, like I said, I was pulling most of this stuff out of my stash, and I did this a while ago, so um, I think it might be Basic Gray. And I put it on the arrow sticker that says this moment. Um, and I think that that pretty much wraps up this layout. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. All right, bye.